Hey Fly Tires, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you a pattern called the Dry Pheasant Tail Variant. And this is actually an evaluation fly from the IFFF in their fly tying skills program. And this one is one of the bronze level flies, uh, one of the evaluation flies. So if you're not familiar with that program, uh, first off, you do need to be a member of the International Federation of Fly Fishers. And they do offer uh, awards for different levels of fly tying. So I've recently embarked on that journey. So here's one of the flies that uh, I'm starting with. So it's a pretty basic dry fly, but it encompasses quite a few skills that you need in order to successfully tie like the cat skills type dry flies. Don't forget to put a comment down below so you can be entered into our next draw for flies and decals. So let's have a look at the material list for this pattern and get started. Well, let's get started with a fresh hook in the vise, as always. And today we're going to be using a standard dry fly hook, and we're using a Mustad. And this is the signature model R50-94840. Uh, if you've got a different dry fly hook, as long as it's a, a standard, uh, standard thickness wire, standard length, Go ahead, something like a TMCO 100 work perfect for this application. For thread, we're going to be using a 70 denier rusty brown. And uh, we're going to start just behind the eye of the hook, not right at the eye. And we're just going to wrap a layer, base layer of thread down along the hook shank. And we'll trim off the tag end. So we're going to take a clump of silver badger hackle fibers. So we're going to take somewhere between 10 and 15 fibers and just like to pull those straight off the feather. And for the feather, typically using one of the hackles from lower down on a cape. And we'll measure out the tail. I'm going to tie it to be the same length as the hook shank. And we'll just go ahead and secure that. And we're going to use touching turns here. And we just want to try and make sure that we keep that hackle on top of the hook shank so that we keep everything even on the body. We'll pull those up and trim the excess. Next, we're going to take a piece of silver wire or in this case, I've got silver oval tinsel. We'll tie that along the hook shank. We're going to wrap that back to the base of the tail. And secure that in my material clip. So next for the body, we're going to use pheasant tail. And we're going to use four fibers. And just count those out. And we're just going to take those four fibers and we'll tear them off the stem. And then we'll put the rest of the feather aside. And I'm going to tie those in all together in one clump. And we'll tie them in by the tips. And we'll make sure we secure everything down. Try to keep that body as even as possible. If you wanted to have a taper, you'd want to have the taper going towards the front of the hook. So we're going to advance our thread up to the two-thirds area of the hook shank. And then we're going to start, we want to wrap these, these pheasant tail fibers evenly. So we're just going to go up in touching turns with the pheasant tail fibers. And we, want to make sure that you keep a tight grasp on the tips on the ends the butt ends there 
just so that you don't have any spaces in the body. And we'll tie those off one third of the hook shank length from the eye. And we'll trim those off. Next, we're going to wrap, reverse wrap our ribbing. So we're going to take a few wraps, say four to five wraps, in the opposite direction that we laid on the pheasant tail. And we'll tie that off on the front third and clip the excess. You want to just keep in mind the proportions that you're going to have two thirds of the hook shank length for your body and one third reserved for your head and your wing. So for the hackle on this, we're going to be using a silver badger. This is a whiting silver badger saddle hackle I'm using here. And I've sized this out to a size 14. It's uh, basically you want this to be about one and a half the width of the gap of the hook. So we're going to tie this in on the dull side and I've just kind of flared out some of the hackle fibers. Bend back that stem just to make sure it's locked in place. And when we wrap this, we want to make sure that the hackle fibers are going to lay forward. Just add a half hitch there just so that it doesn't slip apart. So we're going to take the hackle and we want to make sure that those fibers are pushing forward. And we're just going to try and evenly wrap that up the remaining one-third of the hook shank. The nice thing about the badger is you get a nice dark base layer. Uh, if you wanted to try and make this hack a little bit thicker, you can use two hackles and lay them uh, front to back so you have the dull sides facing each other and then wrap in two hackles together and that'll kind of ensure that they stand out right uh, from the hook shank. So we're going to go ahead and catch our hackle there right at the eye. I'm going to add a few wraps then we're going to fold everything back just to secure it in place. And for my preference I like to snap off my hackles if I can rather than cut them off. So if you fold it, fold the hackle backwards like this, you're not going to have any danger of the hackle pulling out and coming loose there. So we'll grab our whip finish tool. And we'll put in a whip finish there. What we want to do is we want to try and kind of pull all those errant hackles back as we... Uh, Put in our whip finish. It's going to be a little bit tricky. We got most of them there. There's one sticking out the front, but that's no big deal. We'll take care of that later. And then we'll just snip our thread as close to the eye as possible. And to snap off that hackle, just grasp the fly and give it a bit of a whip forward and that should break it right at the uh, tie-in spot. So I'm going to use a little bit of Solares on this, or Solaris. And we're just going to put a little dab just on the head. I'm going to trim that one errant feather hackle before we set it. And then we're just going to set it with the UV light for a couple seconds. And there's your finished fly. Hey Fly Tires, thanks for stopping by and checking out my fly tying videos. 
If you enjoyed the video and want to show your support, hit the thumbs up and share it to your social networks. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel, and if you do, be sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications on my latest fly patterns, tips, and reviews. If you have a question or comment, leave a message below. You'll also be entered into the next draw for some of the flies I tie and a few stickers. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vise. Cheers.